Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nettie here. To excuse my appearance, I'm running around trying to get ready for um, the installers for my closet tomorrow. It's uh, Sunday today and tomorrow's Monday, so they're going to be coming in at 8 o'clock in the morning and getting ready to put it all up. This morning I just finished um, painting it. <laughs> so this um, video is going to be about um, paring down my wardrobe. So it's kind of like part two of three parts. Um, the first one was planning. This one is um, seeing what I keep and what I don't keep. So I went through my entire winter closet that is in there right now and wheedled out you know, some of those items that I won't be using anymore. And so I'm going to, you know, just add that to the end of this video. And I also wanted to show you guys my visualization board. Um, I know that Sharon, you had asked me to show it to you. So just a little quick show. Um, here, here is my board for you guys. And on it, I will just let me fix this. If you can see, I'll go through it with you. Um, hopefully you can see it. So uh, on this side, I put a little picture of an organized, an organized closet right here. And um, so I am in the process of getting this done. Um, then over here, I have a little uh, mini flap, which um, is one of the wish list items. And then over, oops, over here, <laughs> I have a little Hermes um, click clack because it's one of the wish list items on my list, as well as um, the Christian Louboutins here. And I have some little sayings: um, "Family first," because you know that is one of the things that I cherish most. Um, family comes first always, um, ahead of all of this other stuff. So um, I also have stay focused because I want to remember that um, the things that I want, I need to stay focused on and not let other things sidetrack me. And then um, further down on this side, I have a little um, drawing of the Eiffel Tower. And it says, it, what it says is, imagine your dream, create your happiness, live your life. So that will be my Paris uh, trip that I hope to go on this year. Um, I've got all the money put away. I just need to get the planning done. And then um, also I have a, a little British flag because I want to go to London. And I want to see you guys in London. Hopefully, you know, we can get together and have a meetup. Um, then on this board right below it I have uh, a little boy bag you know some of the things that are on my the main things that are on my wish list that I want to stay focused on to save for as well as hopefully you know some espadrilles uh, hoping I can find another pair then another little slogan have fun it's really important to have fun um, and Bob's always telling me that and always reminding me that whenever you do, have fun. Because if you don't have fun, then what what's life worth if you can't have fun and enjoy yourself? So those are the those are the things that are um, really important to me: is my family, you know, staying focused on what I really want, and just and having fun, because. You just have to you know, insert that into your life. Um, you know, it's the only way you can keep going and, and enjoy yourself. So the other thing I have is just some little Chinese um, symbols, and they are for luck, happiness, and prosperity. So those are important. And the other one I forgot was health, because health is <laughs> is the most important. <laughs> If you, can't, if you don't have health, then you know it's hard to, to do all the others. So I, mean, I need to add that to this board. And then over here, I have another little bag that I want to get. It's the um, 
Valentino Rock Stud bag. And over here, a little, um, just a little, you know, tropical picture. I'd love to go somewhere warm as well this year. Um, maybe Florida, maybe the Bahamas. Um, we'll see. And that is my um, visualization board. And here I says places to go, people to see. Cause I want, I want to, I want. That's what I want. I, w I really want to focus on on those items. So that's my visualization board, guys. And um, I will put on uh, little clips of how I pared down my uh, wardrobe. So if you're not interested in seeing that, um, you know, can click out now. But if you are, you know, please um, continue to watch and uh, we'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye guys. Hi guys, it's Nettie here again. Um, we are going to start doing the closet purge here. So I've got a trusty little um, rack where I'm going to stick all the clothes on and then we'll go through it and uh, see which ones we keep and which ones we don't. Alright, I have my trusty helper here, Bob, today. Hello, <laughs> hey everyone. everybody. And um, he's going to help me a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> Very little. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, let's get started. Okay, so here are all my pants, at least the ones that are hanging. I have jeans in, um, in a drawer in my dresser, so those ones we won't deal with. Um, so I normally, when I go to work nowadays, um, it's a very casual dress. Um, we used to dress up a lot more, um, and it's really optional how, how you want to dress. So, um, me now, I'm more of a casual. I do want to keep a few um, regular slacks, uh, so, you know, when I go out or there are special events with work, um, I still have something that's a little more appropriate rather than just jeans or like a colored leg, legging jean. So, I'm going to go through. Um, these ones, this was a really great color when it was in style, but something that I'm probably going to just give up. So it's going to go in the pile to be um, given away. These are definitely a keeper. They're J. Crew thinner pant, and I like the color. Those are another pair that will probably go in the consignment or and or um, you know Sally Ann box what we call our Sally Ann box which is really Salvation Army here <laughs> um, I I have some clothes that I wore when I was just a little bit heavier <laughs> I know a, a lot of people everybody has you know their thin clothes and they have kind of like clothes that they have when they just put on a few extra pounds. Well, these were my um, pants for just a few extra pounds. So I like them and I think I'm going to keep them because they just they'll come in handy and you just never know. So these are going to go in a pile that um, Bob and I talked about it. We said, well, there's some clothes that I'm going to sort of just put away if I don't wear it for the next year then I'll give them away, but at least I know I have them um, in case I put on those few extra pounds. Oh man. These <laughs> both of these both of these pants I really love. I love I love my camo <laughs> pant and um, I wear those a lot. Looks like I'm keeping more than I'm throwing out. <laughs> but here's another pair of camos guys. And I love my camo, so... I think you're into snipers. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep those. These are a pair of gray wool pants. Oh my gosh. They are um, from J. Crew. If I told you guys how long I've had these pants, you guys wouldn't believe me. These have gone through a lot. I've had these at probably... Four jobs. Yeah, four jobs ago, which is about ten... 12 years or more 
um, and they held up so well. They are such a great quality pant. These are um, going to be put in a maybe pile. That's really hard. That Those are a really hard pair to get rid of. These are a narrow skinny leg that I just bought this year. So I'll keep them because I do wear them. And the other pair that's on here, it's a plaid pant that I bought that I really only wore probably once. And I'm really I, I'm not liking it anymore. So this is a pair that is going to be given away. So that is my pant paring down. Um, we've done how many? Five? Bob, we did five that we are giving away and four that we are just kind of going to keep temporarily. If I don't use them within the next year, then they will go out. All right? So the next thing coming up would be uh, we'll do blazers. All right? Okay, hi guys. We're back with our jackets now. Um, I have 15 little um, jackets. And they range from, you know, one that I just got this year to um, this one over here, which I have had for probably about 15 years. <laughs> so, um, I am, it's hard for me to let go of some things sometimes, but I think today we need to start looking at turning over some of these jackets, and we'll do that right now. Um, Okay, so this one is a definite keeper because I love this one. It's great color for a knit. It's keep, it's staying, so I'm going to put it over here. This one is my oldest jacket and I've had this for a long time. I'm really apprehensive to get rid of it, sorry. And I think it's versatile. What do you guys think? It's like. It's old, a little bit old style. It's a little long, but I didn't think it's that long, and it still fits. It's a little tight, but I, th I think it's a maybe. You think it's a maybe? It's been a maybe for a long it's time. It's a nice jacket. I know, isn't you it? You choose just. It's not it that. Is. It's not that you don't want to keep it. It's just it's, that you don't wear it. It's one of those things that I love, but I just don't wear it. Maybe I can start wearing it. It's like shop my closet a little That's bit That's what she more. says about me. Yeah. I love them, but I just don't wear them. <laughs> I just don't wear them. So, okay, so we'll put this over here as a maybe. Um, there's some definite jackets. This one is my little military jacket. Love it. It keeps staying here, staying. This little green jacket is a good little everyday light jacket, and I wore it to... I wore it to Paris when I went a few years back, and it just, it's got a lot of memories, and I really like it. So, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little keeper. This one I've had forever. It's a J. Crew. Um, I think I'm finally going to give this one up. It's, I've had this probably for about 10 years or more. And it's wool, and it's starting to ball a little bit. So It's a great neckline. Great neckline, but it was always a little tight on me, even when I got it. So I think this one's finally going. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, little red jacket. I'm going to have to get a new little red jacket, though. Make no mistake. <laughs> um, and then we have just our regular denim jacket. That need, Everybody needs a denim jacket in their wardrobe. Um, Sorry. Uh, this one I just bought this year. It's definitely a keeper. Sorry. <laughs> this is just a puffer jacket. It's keep, keep right on going. <laughs> leather, my little leather jacket. You had it's a keeper. <laughs> now this one, I this was one of the jackets that um, I think I had it in one of the tags. What's the one? item in your wardrobe that everybody doesn't like and that you like and this was it. Um, Peter Panja. It's, it's, everybody calls me a leprechaun when they, when they see me in it, but it, I just, I just 
really like it. I don't know. What do you think, Bob? It goes. Do you think it goes? Yep. It's not your color. It's not? You don't think green no, is my color? not at all. Not your color. It, it, it just, uh, it's something that I think is seen to stay. Oh. Could we put it in the maybe pile if I don't wear it in a year? Sure. I don't think you will, though. Okay. I think it's more emotional than it is. It is. I think, I just, okay, we're, we're, this one goes in the, if I don't wear it in a year, it gets given away. So. You can wear it on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I used to wear on St. Patrick's Day. Oh my gosh, and this one, oh, this is my little, this is a little leopard box coat, and it's like, I, it's really cute. I think that's a cute, it that's is. because that's you. It looks great <clears throat> with little black pants, with black pants, and, you know, it's just, and it's just a little casual, it's a three-quarter length sleeve. You could use it as a cover-up over your leopard I, jammies. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think we're going to keep this one. Definitely. This one is another J. Crew, um, I guess, chino jacket. And it's a little thicker than the other one, but I really haven't really worn it. This is the outfit you're going to wear with those pants to the yeah. sniper movie. Yeah, to the sniper. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sniper <laughs> movie. Okay. No, I just, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I. At one time I did like it, but I think I like the other one better, and so I just never wear this. It's a consignment item. Yeah, so I think this is a consignment item one. Okay. Well, congratulations. We. Okay, so um, so we kept twelve out of the fifteen, which with actually one being held over <laughs> till next year so but these ones will be the ones that actually get put back into the closet so I think we did pretty good okay so on to the next is um, shirts that'll be a good one hey everyone um, we're back now we're going to go into the tops um, there's quite a few that I like <laughs> <laughs> so these are all my um, like shirts and tops that I have hung and um, I'm just going to go quickly through these because um, there's discrepancies between Bob and I on our taste and um, so let's just dive right into it. Okay so um, this one's a brand new one, Wendy's Lookbook. I got this one from uh, watching her, and it's definitely a keeper. Uh, my polka dots, you've got to keep polka dots. Can't give that one up. This one is a really, really light denim top that I wear in the summertime. Um, so, you know, you guys know me and my denim, I love it. So, you know, it's like this one's a keeper too. <laughs> Uh, there are a couple of work shirts. These are older shirts now that I think I will probably give up. So this one's this one and this little um, light polka dot one. I've had these for a lot of years, so they're just gonna go. Yes or no, Bob? You think? I think it should go. You won't wear it anymore. You can always buy another one, right? Okay, so that's a go. These ones were really cute at the time. They were, had a little frill around the neck, but again, different time, that one goes. Now this one, Bob and I are disputing. <coughs> so we'll put it in a maybe pile. Brand new plaid, you guys, it was my favorites for January, so going to keep it. Uh, another denim. Definitely a keeper. <laughs> Checks 
I love this shirt. Looks great with jeans. Kiefer? She's a rodeo artist in her spare time. <laughs> a rodeo. <laughs> this is another one that um, Bob and I are in dispute over. Um, I kind of like it. You know, but he thinks it looks school marmish. So. Donna Reed. Yeah. Too busy. It's just a casual. I actually sometimes wear it with that green jacket. Oh. <laughs> so I guess we'll okay. put it in the So it <coughs> it's gonna go in a maybe pile. If I don't wear it, it'll go. And this one I just bought last year, so it's a beautiful silk um, top. It's uh, so that's a keeper. And these next three um, they're more like a, this one, I have them turned inside out because they have sequins and beading and I don't want them to get caught on the other clothes. So this one's um, a really nice uh, metallic one. It's for going out and uh, so I need, you need to have a couple of those types of, you know, going out tops, clubbing tops or... And this one is just like a little shell. I've had this forever. And it's discoloring. So this one goes. So that's it. That's what we end up with as far as tops. We have six that we got rid of. We have two that are going to be stored away. If I don't wear them next year, then they'll go into the Sally Ann, and then the rest are keepers. Okay, hi guys, um, it's Nettie back. Um, we now have all of my sweaters, and this might be a hard paring down as well. There's all my, you know, sweaters always come in handy um, for everything, uh, for layering, for just on their own, and um, I have like quite a commu accumulated a few over the years. Some of these are, are old, <laughs> older, um, but I can see some right off the bat that look a little worn and um, you know probably um, could uh, use a better home. <laughs> so the first one is this one. <coughs> I, um, I usually used to wear this with uh, a turtleneck underneath and some leggings, but it really doesn't do anything for me. And I haven't worn it this year, just mainly because of that. So I think this is uh, an item that's going. I'm not really liking it anymore that much. So that's gone. Um, this, these, these are just casual sweaters. Uh, so I think a lot of them are going to just stay because uh, they're just great pairing with um, with jeans and with casual pants. So these ones stay. This one's a great sweater. Um, so much so I bought my mother one. And you know we just love them because they're long and you can just layer them on. This one has seen better days, but... But you always have to have one of those sweaters where you can come home and just curl up in, and this is the one. So I gotta keep this one. Um, I got Nick's for a sweater. <laughs> uh, this one, cute little sweater. Um, I pair this one. I can wear this one in early and late fall, and even early spring because it's a very light. But I've um, worn it a few times. What do you think, Bob? Uh, yes or no? It's not one of my favorite colors on you, but, uh, but it is versatile. So I think so I'll keep, keep it, it for one more year. Okay, so we'll keep this one for one more year. And this one, this one I might give up because I really haven't worn it. It's just a, it's a black and beige sweater. It's more for the cold and it's got the little patches on it. So I think I'm going to give this one up. It's cute though, it has the little buttons on the side. But I really haven't worn it, so 
should probably go to a better home. So that one will go. And now these ones are all um, just sweaters that I have. They're just little cardigans. And this is a cute little leopard one. I love this one. So I think we are going to keep that one. And that was a leopard in her front of <laughs> Leopard, camo, and denim. <laughs> Give me that and I'm <laughs> set. <laughs> this one, I love this sweater. Um, so that's, this one's a definite it's a keeper. And yeah. um, no, this one, just it's just a casual little uh, blue cardi, but it really comes in handy during the summer times, you know, the, in the later evenings. Um, when you're just wearing a t-shirt and then you just throw these cardies on. I wear them for work all the time with my jeans and so I'm, I'm a really uh, a t-shirt and cardigan girl in the summertime and so they really serve me well for work. Uh, so that's why I have a few. This one is a little pink one. It is looking a little worn. So I think this one's going to be donated, um, seen better days, and uh, so we'll give that one up. And that is it. So we got rid of five sweaters, and the rest are keepers. But looks like I need a little bit, like that pink was gave me some bright colors. So guess you'll have to get some. Guess I'll have to go shopping. <laughs> Do it unboxing. <laughs> Do it. my next haul, guys. Um, so that's it. That's it for the sweaters. Um, there's just some miscellaneous um, dresses that I have, which I know those ones I'm going to keep. And as far as shoes, um, those. Most of my shoes, I have a very small shoe collection, winter shoe collection, so that will all stay. Um, there's nothing right now that I'm going to give away. So, um, other from that, Oops. that's um, the majority of what my um, clothes paring down uh, consists of. I will go through um, some of my belts, but I won't bore you with that because I have a lot of you know, miscellaneous belts and also um, you know the necklaces that I showed you so I'll probably go through some of those and and decide which ones I still wear and which ones I don't anymore so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>